This video is all about assessing the energy efficiency of a resale home that you might be thinking of buying. Until recently, coming to an accurate sense of what you're getting into financially and in terms of efficiency has not been that easy to determine. When it comes to price to buy that home, it's very clear cut. You know exactly what you're going to pay. You also know what that's going to translate to in terms of monthly mortgage payments. Taxes are another thing that you can know right down to the penny. And if you were smart enough to hire a home inspector to check the place out before you bought it, then you'd have a pretty good sense of what it'll cost for upgrades and repairs and improvements. But what's been almost impossible to determine up till now for resale homes is the cost of energy and how efficient that home is. So you don't really know whether a place is good or bad, and you don't know how it compares to neighboring houses in the area. Answering these questions is now easier than ever. I'm going to show you two different ways to answer the home energy efficiency question. The first is thermoimaging, and the second is something that's newer. It's home energy labeling. Of these two, home energy labeling is the most useful, and it will tell you the most information, but thermoimaging is very effective and helpful too, and that's what we're going to start with. So this is a thermoimaging camera. There's a bunch of them out on the market now and prices have dropped so you're going to see a lot more of them. All these cameras have a screen like this and it shows an image of what it's pointing at but it's a colorful image and the color refers to the different temperatures of the surfaces. This is a tree, it happens to be blocked by the camera but we can see that it's a dark color so it's fairly cool. Uh, this area here on the house in the background is the railing so it's also not very bright. Um, and then in areas of the wall, we start to get into brighter colors that show higher surface temperatures. You see that especially in windows, in the top area of windows here. The brightest area of the image is up here near the peak. That would be the hottest part of the house where the most heat loss is. You get the best results with this sort of thing when you look at a home in winter. Because that could really show heat loss, and that's what we have here. This is a typical... Canadian home in a typical Canadian winter day and this is the corresponding thermal image of exactly the same house. See this open veranda roof is dark in color because it's not giving off any heat. The walls are giving off some more heat and you can see that by the lighter color here in the thermal image. You'll notice that the area above this line on the house is losing more heat and that can tell us something about what's going on inside making the invisible visible, so to speak. Another area here is in windows. We have a, a lighter color yet towards the top of the window panes, which is often where most heat is lost through a window. And the brightest area is up here near the peak. That would be a small attic up there, and it's just glowing because there is a large loss of heat happening up there. And that's an example of the value of the camera in action. The bottom line is that a thermoimaging camera lets you pinpoint problems, which is important. You want to know about those. But even more useful is to get an overall sense of the efficiency of a home, and that's where energy labeling comes in. The opportunity to look closely at resale homes, so existing homes, from an energy labeling point of view is fairly new. It all comes down to the EnerGuide rating system which us Canadians have been familiar with for a while, but Canada has taken this one step further than any other country in the world, and we're really getting very good at it as it applies to resale homes. Notice here that this analysis is for one specific home, and it relates to a certain file number. So this is very much a custom thing. It's not a cookie-cutter thing. Look here, too. 62 gigajoules per year. That's not likely to mean too much to you yet, but it will in a few minutes. This particular home is just over 2,700 square feet, and it uses 0.24 gigajoules per meter squared of floor area. This is the company that created the analysis, and this is when the rating was done. All of this information can be retrieved online, too. Now let me go into some details so you can understand this better. An energy rating system analysis for a resale home is a very complete thing. There is a lot of detail, and I can't go into it all here, but you don't necessarily need that detail to understand the value. 
It is summarized in an easy to digest way, and that's what you have here. This is a chart that shows the main things you need to know, and it comes from that previous house, the one that uses 0.24 gigajoules per meter squared per year of energy. This helps you to compare it to other homes that might be larger and smaller and to compare it in an efficiency way. Now this box here is for a completely different home with completely different numbers too. Uh, it might look similar on the outside but it actually uses three times more energy for a given floor area than the previous home so it's much less efficient. Take a look at this pie chart here. This is part of all of these analysis and it gives you a breakdown of energy consumption in the different parts of the home. This uh, pie slice A is for space heating and in the efficient home that's 23 percent of the total. In the inefficient home space heating accounts for a whopping 69 percent of the total energy consumption. So there's a big difference there. Another thing worth noting is that the efficient home uses 4% of its total energy for space cooling, but the inefficient home doesn't have any cooling system. So similarly, ventilation accounts for a small amount of energy use, and yet there's none here. So this energy guzzling home is also less comfortable than the efficient one. Another important number to look at here is total energy consumption, 186 gigajoules per year versus 62 per year in the efficient home, a huge difference. Note that there's no on-site renewable energy production, and yet we've got 10 gigajoules per year in solar heat, reducing the 72 to 62 net joules consumed. The EnerGuide rating system for houses is a uniquely Canadian invention, and there's really no other country in the world that does as good a job in this area as we do. And just to recap, the ERS analysis communicates total energy consumption of a home, and that's total net. Second, it also lets you know how much energy is consumed for a given area of floor space, so you can accurately compare homes of differing size. One of the most important features is that it includes information on alternative on-site renewable energy production, which is becoming more and more of a reality in resale homes. Finally, the bottom line for you as a buyer is that it allows informed comparison. So why go to all this trouble? Well, a few reasons. Maybe one of the most important is money. You can purchase a resale home with confidence that you're going to be rewarded for a wise choice. Second, it informs you about what you can expect and maybe where some energy efficiency gains could be made. And third, it gives us the information we need to be socially responsible about our energy consumption. So if you're in the market to buy a resale home, or you're fixing up an older place and you want the marketplace to understand the great job you've done with energy efficiency, remember the two tools that I've introduced to you here. There's the thermo imaging and the home energy labeling. This last one in particular is an up and coming reality for the Canadian real estate scene. You're gonna see it more and more for the simple reason that it provides facts where mystery used to exist before. In fact, Ontario is the first Canadian province to legislate mandatory home energy labeling for resale homes by 2019.